Hey, it's Sam. Check this out. This is a World War II directional loop antenna that we used on different types of military planes uh, during World War II and after during Korea. So we've got one of these. So I'm going to show you some information. There's some markings there. There's a marking there, calibrated to zero. Uh, I'm going to flip this up for a minute. And you have some markings here on the bottom. There's your serial number, E21475. Some more markings there, P4108. Oh, was that P4? PL108, PL1112. And it still has the original gears and equipment on the inside. Now, I haven't opened it up yet. I'm going to keep this in original condition. You're welcome to do what you want with it, but everything's in there. Um, I can't read the inspection date on this. If you're into military aeronautical history, uh, if you want something cool nobody else has, we've got this available. I've got one of these. Uh, this came out of a barn find um, from a pick we did earlier in the year up in northern Missouri. Let's see if I can get this turned around. There we go. Like that. And here's some. Here's a plane here. You see at the bottom left under the, the girl's leg. Uh, directional antenna right there and here's another one on top of that plane right there so we're going to put these up on our, this up on our website military surplus llc.com um, tonight it's going up right there is the website check it out we'll have an email blast going out on this a little bit later today it's getting ready to happen here and I've got a couple of other items we're going to throw up that's uh, aeronautical related. Uh, but yeah, man, so check it out. You don't see these every day. You can't find them in Walmart. This is a cool, cool item. If you want it, it's going to be priced to sell. Um, and I, I deal in military surplus antiquities all the time. This is one of the first ones I've seen like this. So this sat in a barn. A little story. So uh, the farmer we work with, we did a pick earlier this year. Um, he's had this in this barn since the early 1980s. Uh, it hasn't been in the elements. It's just been stored away uh, in a storage area. And we picked it up. And now it's available for you. So there you go. This is Sam. I'll talk to you later.